So now we have our beautiful list and we want to actually start storing some data inside the list. So the list is available and it's already got two persons in there, but uh, I want to add more persons. So uh, that's what we're going to do this lesson. We're going to try and, and insert even more persons to the list using the, the store data function that we made earlier. So what I want to do is, I want to show you one thing at first. Right now what's happening is, from the outside I'm sending in two pieces of information right now. I'm sending in an ID and I'm sending in a name. And then I'm kind of storing the ID and the name inside these two properties automatically. I already talked about that, that when you send in parameters, they automatically get put into the parameters available inside the, the method if they are actually there. So what could we do if we wanted to create a person and add him to the list? Well, we could do something very simple like this. Uh, var person equals new person. We've done this uh, the same thing inside the VPF application. And here we'll just say, I want to add the ID of the person inside the ID here equals uh, the ID from the outside and I want to add the name inside the name from the outside. There we go. So now we've kind of, this is one way to do it, right? So it's very, very simple. Now I've already just created a new person and now I could add him to the list. So I'll say uh, my underscore persons, add him to the list. There we go, add, this is how you add in a list and then I'll add the person. I'm typing faster than my machine right now. I don't know why it's tired my machine. So now I've added the person that I could present the entire list. I'll do that in a second. But I want to I want to show you one thing here because you can do it even simpler because it's very very cool what they did with the uh, with the controller setup here in the MVC framework. Instead of doing this, all of this work can be done automatically for you by just putting in person directly here. So let me just show you. Instead of doing this, I'll just directly put person in there and write person like this. And then behind the scenes it says, oh, he wants a person. Well, let me just create a new person. And then I'll start populating all the properties available if they match um, the things that you are sending from the outside. And we are sending ID. It'll say, okay, person has a property of ID. Well, I guess he would just want to set that ID. Oh, he also sent a name. Well, I guess he just wanted to set in the name right away. Now, if it was the case that there was a third property saying um, age or something, it wouldn't set it because I, wouldn't, I wasn't sending in an age property, right? So, but this is how similar it is. So let me just remove this because I don't have to do this manually. I'll just let the system do it behind the scenes. And now my person is added. Ta-da! That simple. So that's all it takes. Now it's actually added to the person. It's awesome. Um, let's uh, just print out the first person available. I know that's kind of, I'll just print out the person I just created here. So person dot ID. So now I just tell you where you just create a new person here. Person dot uh, name. There we go. So now he's stored in the database. We are ready to run and let's see if it actually works before we end this lesson. So the application is back up and running. Let's try and uh, put in a breakpoint just to show you what I'm talking about. Putting in a breakpoint here and then let's try and, um, like we did last time, I'm going to try and add a person here. So I'm saying person and then a question mark. And I want that person to have an ID. Slash store data, let's try again. So we should hit the breakpoint now. And um, from that, let's just have a look at what's actually going on. I'm sending in the ID as a parameter and the name as a parameter. Now, that's what I say. The cool thing is that since the ID and the name, it knows that a person contains actually a property of ID and a property of name. So automatically, it can figure out to take, create a new person and add the ID and the name automatically. That's so awesome. So it's in here now. I add the person to the persons list. Let's just continue. And then I just print out the person that I just created. That's all I'm doing. Um, and hopefully, it'll now say... I just added John and I added... So let's look at the index now because now John should also be added to my list. So let's just move this and do the index. And here's a surprise, he's not added. So what's going on? Well, that will be a cliffhanger for the next video where I'll show you what's actually why that is not working. See you next time.